please subscribe math.com for any query comment or email hello everyone our today's topic is linear inequalities it's a very important topic as after linear equations as we have already discussed linear equations at multiple times what are linear equations and how to solve the linear equations but when it comes to linear inequalities most of the time we get confused about it today we will discuss the basic concept behind it so before studying the linear equality inequalities we will discuss what are inequalities actually we start from the concept of the linear equations where we came across the equations like 2x plus 4 equals to 6 this is called a linear equation in one variable okay here it is called a linear equation because we have a power of x that is 1 okay or it's a it's a linear equation okay a linear equality it's there is an equality sign so we get we call it a linear equation this is a linear equation so how we relate the linear inequality with the linear equation we will see it today so if we say the same if we write the same equation as this but the only difference here is this sign what sign will come here in inequality when a certain number is not equal then there are certain condition it might be greater than or less than or greater than or equal to or less than or equal to okay so here we get the concept of inequality so we will discuss this concept in this lecture that which sign will be here other than the equal sign okay so this is the question here so at the end of the lecture you will be able to understand what are the inequalities what are the linear inequalities and how to solve the equations including the linear inequality okay so in other words the inequality refers to not equal so inequality is also called as not equal okay so by using the linear inequalities what we are basically doing we basically find the relative size of two values so when it comes to find the relative size of two values we came across the linear inequalities okay so we will discuss start discussing the type of inequalities or the sign that will came other than the equality sign depends on the type of the inequalities okay then we will discuss what is meant by linear inequality so let us discuss the types of inequality so we have the four types of inequalities we will discuss them one by one with the exam okay we will make a table we will discuss all these inequalities and their differences so this is the tabular form of different types of inequalities where in the first column we have the type of inequality then we have the sign of that inequality then the inequality form that we represent in the form of two variables and the example of the inequality so first type of inequality is greater than okay greater than is the first type of equality okay and the sign of equality will be this okay this sign is the sign of greater than when we write it in the form of two numbers or two values we can write it let's say a and b are any real numbers then we can write that a is greater than b so keep in mind that this um, you know, symbol will be open on the side the number is greater and closed from the side with the number is small okay for example you can say that 5 is greater than 2 this is one form of the inequality we will discuss in detail in after this after this table currently we are just overviewing the types of inequality then we have then we have less than inequality this is the second type of inequality having the sign like this okay we can write as a is less than b so it is clear from here that the sign is closing on the side the variable is small so here we can say this is a small variable or the small value okay and this is a large one as the sign is opening on that side okay so we can write here the example as 2 is less than 5 okay next form of inequality is greater than or equal to keep this in mind people usually said and equal to it is or equal to okay what is the sign of greater than or equal to it will be like this okay and the inequality form will be like a is greater than or equal to b or we can take the example as x is greater than or equal to 1 okay another form of inequality we will discuss in detail after this 
then another form is less than or equal to then the sign of inequality will be less than or equal to okay and we can write as a is less than or equal to b or, or we can have an example as y is less than or equal to 1 now we will discuss where we will use such inequalities and how we come to know that which inequality will come where okay let's discuss them one by one first of all we have an inequality of type 1 that is greater than we will discuss greater than inequality on one side and less than inequality on another side. okay so we have already seen that greater than inequality is with the greater than sign okay so how we came to know that where we have to use the greater than sign or what let's say we have a and b be any two real numbers okay so these are the two real numbers now we have to check that which number is greater and which is smaller for that we have to do what we have to subtract the two numbers that is a minus b if we take the difference and the result is positive I will, if i take the difference and the result is positive what does it mean it means that a is greater than b how if we take 5 and b as 2 and subtract them we will get 3 so it is positive this means this will refer to the fact that 5 is greater than 2 and that is ultimately means that a is greater than b so this is how you can decide whether a number is greater than or greater than or less than the given number okay so same is the case for the less than let's say again here we will take again we will again say let's say a and b be any real numbers so how you will check that if you that whether a is greater than b or a is less than b in case of in, less than inequality we will again check that if we subtract the number and we will get a number that is with the negative sign okay if the number is negative this means that that a is less than b how if i write 2 minus 5 what i will get i'll get minus 3 what does it mean this means that 2 is less than 5 okay or ultimately we can say that a is less than b okay so for the greater than uh, we have to use the form like this and for less than we have to use the form like this so keep this one thing in mind in order to uh, remember that this sign will always open on the large side a number a number that is large when the number is large this sign will open on, towards the large side and on the closing point of this sign we will have a small number so this is how you can remember it same is the case here that less than sign again here we have a here we have a number that will be small and the opening side of this symbol will have a large number so this is how you can remember this and this these inequalities okay now greater than and equal to both of these inequalities are also called as strict or strong strong inequality strict or strong inequality why it is also called same as strict or strong inequality why because we know that 5 is greater than 2 okay or if we know the value of a and b we are confirm about it that it is greater than one uh, uh, value is greater than the second so it is called a strict inequality because there is no st strict inequality because there is no equality sign in it okay both greater than and equal to whenever you came across the numbers where there are only greater than or equal to sign then they are called as strict inequalities we will discuss in detail in the graph graph section when we plot these inequalities currently just you have the should have the concept that the inequalities with greater than or equal to sign are also called as strict or strong inequalities now we move, move towards the other two types of inequalities that are less than or equal to and greater than n. So we'll write as. So again, we will discuss here why do we use to uh, uh, why do we need to use a greater than or equal to or less than or equal to um, inequalities uh, uh, in the linear equations. Uh, 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 why do we need to use the greater than or less than uh, linear inequalities? Sometimes we know that one number is less than another number or equal to. But we don't know which one is the case. Sometimes we know that one number is either less than another number or equal to. But we don't know which one is the case. 
in such a situation we came across to greater than or equal to or less than or equal to inequalities okay so let's and uh, let's say we have a number a and b be any real number then the greater than or equal to inequality between them can be represented as a is greater than or equal to b okay so we can read as a is greater than or equal to b so we came across such as in a, such a situation when we don't know whether is greater than b or equal to b so whenever this such a situation uh, you came across you have to consider these two symbols together that is greater than and equal to together okay same is the case in case of the um, uh, less than or equal to let's say a and b be any real number then how we can represent this inequality we can represent this inequality as a is less than equal to b again why we have used uh, this inequality because we are uncertain about it whether the a is less than b or equal to b okay? when we are uncertain about it we we came across such inequalities so we can take the example as we have an example as if you have x is greater than or equal to 1 okay so here we are unable to uh, where we uh, we can uh, we are uncertain about it whether the value of x is equal to 1 or greater than 1 so that's why we have used this inequality here same is the case here if we have y is less than equal to 4 again we are uncertain about it whether this value is less than 4 or equals to 4 okay so these two types of inequalities are also called as non strict or weak inequalities and same is the case for less than or equal to inequality it is also called as non strict or weak inequality as we have an equality sign in this inequality so this was all about inequality that why do we use the inequalities and what are these inequalities what is the basic concept what are their symbols and few examples and in our next lecture we will see how you can solve the linear inequalities and what are the linear inequalities thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you